Lowland heath comprises a mosaic of different habitats, but perhaps the most distinctive is the dry, heather-covered heathland that develops on well-drained, acidic, sandy soils. Typical dry heathland is an open habitat dominated by heathers, coarse grasses and low shrubs such as gorse. It supports a huge variety of insect life, from ants and ground beetles to butterflies and moths. What we've got here is two sorts of heather growing together. The big dome is actually an ant's nest covered in bell heather. This is the really bright purple one. And then right round this side, there's just a tiny little bit of ling heather. That's the sort of, if you like, ordinary heather, but that's all gone over. So the whole of this dome is, is one ant's nest, meadow ants. And you often find insects in association, or spiders and what have you, in association with the ants themselves. If I grubble around in the bottom of here, Amongst the litter, yeah, what we've got here is another crab spider. I'm just putting it on there. There we go. It's not very exciting in this colour because it's, it's camouflaged at the moment to match the... Whoa, it's going between my fingers. Uh, to match the, the fl dead flowers of the bell heather. But this is a spider that can actually change colour. Um, so if it was on the purple flowers, it won't do it straight away, it takes about sort of a day to change colour. But if it was on the purple flowers, it would be a purple spider. And if it was on a white flower, a daisy or something like that, it'd be a white spider. Um, and it sits there waiting for something to come and then mugs it. So quite a cunning bit of camouflage, the chameleon of the spider world. Insects provide a major source of food to many animals living amongst the heather, and the door beetle and the adult moth of this emperor moth caterpillar are among the favourite food for one of the rarest and most secretive of all birds seen in Britain, the nightjar. Nightjars are nocturnal birds and can be seen at dusk and dawn hunting moths and other flying insects. With pointed wings and a long tail, their shape is similar to a kestrel or cuckoo. They are great flyers, coming from Africa to Britain every summer to nest and raise their chicks. Usually, two eggs are laid on a bare patch of ground amongst the heather, their grey-brown mottled plumage providing ideal camouflage in the daytime from predators such as the adder. The adder hunts in the heather for small birds and rodents, and whilst it is Britain's only poisonous snake, it's very shy, only biting humans as a last form of defence. Lowland Heath is the best habitat to see reptiles, and it's the only habitat in Britain that supports all six native species. With its rich diversity of rare plants and animals, lowland heathland is a priority for nature conservation. But there is a problem in maintaining it. Without the continual practice of low-level grazing and the removal of turf and scrub for fuel, it's soon overrun by bracken. That's why, as part of the conservation process, small numbers of Hebridean sheep have now been introduced on sites such as Atkinson's Warren. 